It's been 20 years since the E2 nightclub tragedy. Joni is live with more on the emotional day. And good morning. The building is for lease. It looks different on the outside, but it still stands here in the South Loop. The loss of life here in 2003 will be remembered tonight with a vigil. The second floor E2 nightclub was overcrowded that night when a security guard used pepper spray to break up a fight. The crowd ran for the one exit. Patrons fell down the long staircase on top of one another. People were trampled, crushed, suffocated. 21 young people died in a gathering place that was supposed to be shut down for building code violations. Many of the victims were parents of young children. Michael Wilson was the father of a three-year-old he called Little Mike, and that toddler is grown now. Michael Wilson was 22 years old. His son today is 23 years old, so he, he's older than his father. And, you know, of course, he was three years old when he died. And so his, you know, he had to learn his, his father through his, his mother and, and his grandmother and his grandfather. And, his, you know, he had to learn through his family. And um, there were kids who were, who were that age who are now adults, right, and who grew up without a parent that they lost at that nightclub. Don Valenti is a crisis responder. She's also a victim victim's advocate. She's organizing the vigil tonight. She knows there have been some improvements in building safety in the city of Chicago. Uh, the two owners of the building, they did serve probationary time. They did some community service. And Don Valenti believes that the victims deserve a permanent memorial. Reporting live in the South Loop, I'm Joni Lum. Now back to you.